Hi, this is Tom Does Tech. I'm Tom, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to conditionally add items to objects and arrays in JavaScript. So we have this object here that is empty, and we have an array. And you can see the output of the object here. I'm using Quokka to get this output. So if we want to test if email is truthy before we add it, we could do an if statement to say if email, and then we could say payload email equals email, and this would add our email to the object. And if email is all of a sudden not truthy, it won't add it to the object. But this can get quite time consuming and can contain a lot of code if we want to test all of our values. So we would need to add a if statement for every single value. And we could do it like this, but there has to be a better way to do this. And of course there is. So we can spread items onto objects and test for their truthiness. So we can spread our email onto the object, or we could spread a falsy value, such as falsy value, and it won't get added to the object. And if this spread results to true, we can use the logical and operator. So we can wrap this in a function and we can say email. Then we want to add a property called email to our object. And you can see here that it adds our email. And we can do the same with a falsy value. So we say falsy value and, and, and add our falsy value. And you can see that falsy value is no longer added to the object. So we could do this for all of our properties in the object. And you can see that only the truthy values will be added to the final object. So we can do the same with our array. We can spread, open a function, add our value that we want to test. In this case, we can test our falsy value for the logical and operator, and then pass in our falsy value. If we do this with a value that's truthy, such as email, it will get added to the array. But we obviously don't want to spread the email string out like this. So we just need to wrap email in its own array. So this is how you conditionally add items to objects and arrays in JavaScript. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you like the video and subscribe for more.